Snap, guys. We got the cam, the cam bridges in. Freaking the cam bridge caps, dude, all torqued down. Oh, getting close, and bait. Firing this thing up. You know that? Oh, wait. I'm gonna set you guys back up here so I can get a little speed on this before the ATV sets up. Rocker arm shaft install. Hopefully I just I just poured some oil in here that it's not rolling through the heat tech solenoid. I have to re-clean the whole side of the head and the heat tech solenoid to do this. So fingers crossed here. We're gonna pull our exhaust. Rocker arm shaft orifice out of the way. And oof. Right underneath the VTEC solenoid is the entrance to the rocker arm shaft which I'm putting the transmission bolt into. See that orifice come around? There it is. We're gonna put our exhaust orifice in. There we go, nice. Right where it needs to be. Cool, so I'm gonna get this bolt out. Try and get this in before the ATV sets up. Again, just to make sure, install camshaft holders and camshaft holder plate. The arrows marked on the camshaft holder should point to the timing belt. <laughs> Freaking sketchy, even a brand new bolt. And brand new bolts, OEM bolts. Following spec for torque and no bueno. So be very careful torquing down your cam bridge bolt to spec. They'll stretch, don't freaking break. Luckily, I keep a lot of stuff like my old cam bridge bolt, and I inspected them and found one, two that were in good condition because I had two brand new ones stretch out on them. These guys close, and then I'll suspect I think it's 20 pounds, but I'm gonna take it close. Living in front of the scenes, not lost between all the reasons that you fall from freely, Nurse Jackie. Bet you won't complain and at me to diss, but I ain't had piss since a little boy shits on the bus. Catches me out every time. I've had so many of these stretch. Bounce kids, and I learned that day for the rest of my life. <sighs> so if you didn't know, it's on you, my friends. Hopefully, when I go to the one and two there in order, it tightens it down and then creates a little bit of space there to get me back in sequence. Oh, yes. Let's do the outside ones last because they're a smaller torque, so getting the center ones torqued to spec will get the final resting place of the outside bolt. It's 7.2 pounds, so it's almost get there by hand. I'd say that one feels like it's pretty darn close. It scares me. I just want to replace them already. Over here already really firm. I just gotta check the washer that I have below the bolt. I just have a little amount on there. Healthy amount that looks good. So I'm probably not gonna wipe it off. Nice healthy amount on there. I'm not gonna be wiping that off. It's really Gucci. Um, time to get a new battery. 
Dang, had to get a new battery. Man, you can see how much brighter it is in here already. It's cheap lights up here. I'm gonna take these things apart because I banged on this thing earlier. Y'all saw when I broke the dang cover to that. Round like three or four, my overhead lights only got one bar on. It looks like it's on, but it's not. There's only one bar on. Same thing with this one over here, of course. The car was in the way and been working on it, so I wasn't able to really mess with that one. It actually broke that cover. But there's only one light on there that's working. See that dark spot over there? That's where a bulb should be going. And the bulb in there is good. And this one came undone or, but yeah, it looks so much better in here just with that one extra bulb going. Where the heck we at? Let's get this VTEC cylinder back on. Yeah, I guess they don't want to put too many words in the uh, service manual for certain things, you know? Maybe they have a, a text cap for how many texts they could have. And I'm just referring to the fact that they didn't explain exactly how to get those orifices for the rocker arm shafts, that they actually slide into the shafts. All right, and this thing's still looking clean and dry, so we're gonna attach the VTEC That's all good. We got all that. They're talking about throwing the, the out cover on already, huh? Let's get our timing set, huh? Yeah, this one always takes me a while to do because it's tricky as hell. Alright. Want to get everything perfect. I already got the uh, crank at top dead center. And I got the cam gears close. Good and snug. You guys, uh, I think that was the quickest I ever got the timing belt on and set, like ever. Makes me so happy. All right, we're up. Lines going along the head. Of course, I can't come down past the fender here to line up. But, uh, yeah, we're right there. So that was pretty sweet, guys. All right, what's next? I think I wanna hit this. Uh, hit my crank pulley. Oh, come loose on me when I was rotating it earlier. All right, dang, man, we put the freaking valve cover on? Are you kidding me? Where are we? Oh, yeah, uh, best do uh, just the valve, which I did on the B16 um, before it got wiped out. And again, it wiped out in an idle. Well, not really an idle. Well, it did wipe out in an idle, but it only pretty much drove to the alignment shop and back. But this is a different head and I want my, I want everything adjusted and done. So I'm gonna do it. Let's do it now. All right, intake side is six to seven, so I'll go six, and exhaust is seven, and that's point zero zero seven. So exhaust is point zero zero seven of an inch. We're gonna be doing millimeters, so exhaust Point seventeen and intake is point fifteen. So feeler gauges, wherever they're hiding at. Once you have it aligned where you want it for the clearance. All right, so I loosen the ten mil nut, then I come in with my flathead, and I tighten up, adjust my clearances. See, so I want to go, I want it to be tighter, so I'm going to go clockwise and make the gap in between the rocker arm and the cam smaller. See there, I just from those turns I did, I can't get the 15 mil in now. I'm going to loosen it back up. 
So we're in there good and it actually feels pretty good right there. Because then when you tighten this 10 mil up, it has a tendency to spin your adjustment screw. And then it makes it tighter. So I'm gonna get it so it's feeling pretty good. Like I'm get, I got clearance and it's snug. And that way it has a little bit of room if it tightens up a little bit on me. Hopefully my, my clearance is still there. Cause I like these to be tight. When I used to drag, I had one come off, it bounced around and, all right. And it's still saying we're in there. That one's feeling pretty good now. This one can be more snug, so yep, I'm gonna go back and give this one a little bit of a loving turn of affection. Let's see what that does. Wow, man, that hour and 23 minutes went by really quick with you guys. Time to go get my daughter from the bus stop. That shit, I gave it up. Diversify. I fly no lie. All right, well, I got a little time before I got to get my son today, so let's get these. Uh... Ooh, baby, that's snug. That's super snug. It's pretty good. Exhaust 0.17. 18. Flopping in the wind, son. All right, so 18. Here we come. Snug 18. Good. So now it says to rotate crankshaft 180 degrees. Camshaft pulleys turn 90. The up mark should be on the exhaust side. Point to the exhaust. So we're gonna get our ups. To point left. Oh man, these springs are crazy. Yeah, hopefully my bolt doesn't come loose on this thing after hitting it with the air. Gonna loosen the bolt. And there goes the bolt. Let's see if I can't tighten it up now that I got a breaker bar on it. Oh, well that's clockwise and they want me to go counter. Come on, baby. Move for daddy. And we're moving. Gonna point these ups to the Exhaust, boom, right there. All right, Whew. and that should get us feeling on. All right, so 15 on intake, here we come. Just always double check in, following the book. We're gonna roll this thing on down to four. You just hear those springs, man. Down, down, down. Is down right there. The line's matching up on the head. So not too bad on number four, but we're getting it done anyway. One out of four. One out of four ain't bad. Snug, that'll work. All right, just finished up uh, four and on our way to Piston. Actually, that was a little too far there, I think. I'm gonna go back, see what it does when I go back a little there, if they both move simultaneously. All right, let's come back. Nope. Let's go far enough that we're in sync when we come back. 
You know what? I'm gonna go all the way back around. Don't need that life like I'm brought up off that fuck your life. I'm all about I with that wisdom high. I open mind, no lie. I try with no say that's it right there. Pretty damn close. Alright, number two. That super snug. Alright. I'm gonna come back up to one. Ooh. Come back up to one. And recheck that one. Considering it was my first one. And see how snug I said it. Mo snug. And they're good. Pop my 15 back out. I think that one's pretty good, and this one could be a little better. And we're good. Not super snug, but for our minimum, being 15. It's a nice little chunk for today that we got. Time to go get the sun and do the family thing, balance the life, balance everything out. Too much anything is no bueno. So, man, I'm really, I'm really stoked. I'm really excited with how far we got today, and uh, I had no idea that we would be. Uh, we would have the head on and the cams in and the timing set and the valves adjusted uh i'm not sure if that's all gonna be in one video but we'll see what happens so thank you guys so much and stay out peace